I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin and in this video we're going to have a look at how profitable the Bull Perks Launchpad actually is. So in this playlist series I review all the different launchpads. We take 10 of their last IDO launches and we're going to have a look how profitable it is. What are the tiers? Is it guaranteed allocation? Is it lottery? And is it worth it to invest? Nothing in this video is financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. We're going to have a look at bull perks. I have the tier allocation list right here. So there are six different list allocations in total. We have the copper bull, the bronze bull, the silver bull, the golden bull, the titanium bull and the platinum bull. And there are some locked periods required for platinum none, for titanium one, two, two, three, three. So here is basically from smallest allocation to highest allocation, from highest allocation to smallest allocation. They reserve the right every two months based on the price of the Bullpucks tokens to change the allocation. So if you're watching this two months after the recording of this video, make sure you check the updated tiers and time locks. The question is, is it guaranteed? Bullpuck offers deals on a first come first shift basis for all tiers except Platinum. So only Platinum is guaranteed. All the other ones, you get your allocation, but you still need to be fast. Otherwise the pool fills up. I have a whole list of all the previous projects that they've done right here. And to make it easy, I'm just gonna take the top 10 from the top. I think that is the most easiest way to do things this is the ongoing project so we're going to filter those out the upcoming project so they got two upcoming and then the finished project to make it easy as possible i'll just pick up the binance smart chain once uh, because i want to have a look at the total or maybe not one two three because this is solana ethereum that's all good yeah polygon i might want to skip although gaia did really well I did that one myself as well. So yeah, three, nine, ten. Okay, well, so we'll do coin, up until CoinWeb. I have an overview right here. So if you would invest into ball perks, um, these are the tokens required, and this is the current price of the bull perks token. So bull perks token launched six months ago, the actual launch pad, and it has done extremely well ever since. So it launched at about ten cents. Had a little bit of a rough period in july four cents and then basically i think the, with the gaming bull run when they started focus on gaming as well uh, which they mentioned specifically on the top right games pad ido when they focused on the gaming the coin sh did a huge run up all the way until the all-time high which is about just under 70 cents and it's still holding super stable across the bitcoin dip currently so that's really great for the bull perks token which basically means that the minimum investment amount is 865 dollars which makes it for a launch pad quite accessible um if you will the highest one 144,000, which is obviously the highest tier um, which is relative to other ones also not that expensive now the question obviously is what kind of investment would you get uh, and they actually disclose that on their launch pad so that's nice the minimum allocation is twenty dollars and the maximum nine hundred i don't think they show it per tier specifically how much it is no but they do show the minimum and the maximum so the minimum here would be twenty and the maximum here would be 900 right and they don't show the specific pool weights so on other projects this might vary a little bit so here you have 30 12 60 22 up to a thousand 20 to 950 but it's always around that range right so if we would basically calculate it to see what the other perks will give you as i would say that is uh good to know basically your investment amount divided by so that's 43 and this would be 160 so maybe it's better to do it over the token amount so we take your allocation divided by the amount of tokens that you have or better so amount of tokens divided by your allocation so that's 75 and it is 277 so they give you a way higher weight here which makes sense which is about 4x 
So let's assume, let me just dial in the numbers, right? Because this would be three and a half. So this will probably be like 50 or because usually it's quite linear up until like the higher rankings. That's like maybe a hundred then here, 125 or 150. Yeah, probably more like a hundred. So this is 20, no, nah, probably like 125. This one would again be, so this like 350-ish. And this one would be like maybe 750, 700. Yeah, I think something like this would make sense for the allocation. So these ones are not confirmed. It's just a guess, a wild guess from my side. But just to give you an idea of what you might be able to expect with this. Uh, so this, this one will probably be, yeah. Nah, hang on, because <laughs> you need double the amount of tokens here. So this doesn't make sense. If this is 900, the other ones have to be way lower. So th this one gives you 20, right? This amount of tokens. So then this one should give you at least triple, right? Yeah. So why does this one give you su such a low one then? 250,000 gives you 900. Well, the investment is a lot higher. Oh, well. So this one to be 700, I, th I think maybe it's unlikely, maybe it's a little bit less, but yeah, especially they, they treat their starters well. Let me just say that. I think for an $860 investment to get a $20 allocation on major projects, that is, um, uh, could be a good opportunity, right? All right, now let's look at the projects because that's most important. I have the projects right here. The first project is going to be Gamespad. So let's see when that launched. Launch date, the 20th of December, which is tomorrow. So that doesn't happen. 17, so Totem already launched. It's the first one we're going to pick up. Totem, this one. From the IDO, 4.74 currently. 4.74. And the all-time high that it reached was, in that case, let me pull that one to the end, 8.11. Okay, let me pull this also small. Right. Totem is basically the first one, which is uh, decent. I mean, that's uh, for a normal IDO, that's a good return. Take into consideration the vesting, obviously. If we open up, we can see the vesting as well. 10% TGE and 10% for nine months. All right, I'm just going to include the vesting. It's not something I normally do because most launch pads do, do not disclose that that often, but I think it's. Uh, very nice that, that they do show it. So I do want to include it just to make a comparison how fast the turnaround would be, right? It doesn't impact my decision on the profitability because for other launch pads in this playlist, we don't do that, but that's good to know. Definitely good to know. All right, close this one, go back. So totem done, on to the next one, Rainmaker. Does sound like a very interesting project, the name at least, Rainmaker Games. It's not live yet, it appears. And that 16th of December. Launch date, the 16th on Ethereum. Can we run it on Dex Tools? Rainmaker, is it on CoinMarketCap? Yes, but not live yet, okay. So that makes sense. Next one, Void on Solana, already launched as well. but not according to this. <laughs> so let's see if, no, also not launched yet. All right, Voice Street on the Binance Smart Chain, 11th of December, so that's 10 days after the idea. This one should be launched, uh, to be fair. VST. Nope. We're looking for Voice Street, must be like a singing game or something. It's not able to pull it up. Nope. All right, Crixivia, Crixivia, that sounds exotic. 2nd of December, yeah, okay, that's good. IDO, 22.78, 6.7, 6.7, 22 And this is Crixivia, very exotic name. Vesting on this one. Oh, that's good, 25% TGE. Specifically with such a heavy TGE, well not heavy, but I mean higher than 
the other one and still holding up quite high that's good so obviously the higher the, the dge the the higher the odds of it dumping right then we got arcade network i think i've looked at that one in the past arcade network no maybe not here it is okay so it is live and we can calculate it ourselves oh it didn't do that well so the IDO was for six cents and currently it's available for a stunning 10 cents. So that's all time high was like basically a three X and right now is a 1.5, 1 1.5, 3 X arcade network. What did or does the TGE look like? 25% then 25% per month for three months. Okay. What else do we have? What else? So, so far, so good actually. Soul Chicks. Well, for the Soul Chicks, I do know a lot because I have covered that extensively on this channel. So it should be something like a 3x here and 26 soul chicks. 3.32, 13.19. Okay, perfect. On to the next we go. Sidus. Sidus and Senate. So basically those are two separate tokens just to be clear, and they both did really well. So Sidus, first we're gonna list Sidus. I'm always excited if, if this one pulls up in my top 10, because this is also one I invested in quite heavily, and it paid off really well, 42.69. So this will obviously pull up the average a lot. 43.8 and the reason we look at the all-time high but not really is because it's nice to know but not something that we we tend to work with so this one is quite heavy five percent tge three month cliff uh, and from the fourth month five percent monthly right senate basically almost uh, the same a little bit less performance i think yeah 14.72 because the token started a lot higher so 18.13 I believe the vesting is the same. 14.72. Still really good. Right? Okay, four more projects to go. Numbers so far looking really, really good. Right? I'm just gonna cut a zero there. Yeah, these are the averages at the bottom. So we focus on this column specifically because that is the ROI that you hold. Uh, the vesting obviously is extremely important uh, with these projects and if we can't sell then it's not that useful dopamine cool name can't find it though but cool name dopamine app untracked that's crazy when did this happen 16th of november maybe it got cancelled Spellfire. Cool name also. Also can't find it. <laughs> All the games with a cool name, um, they don't launch apparently. So the, 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 the phrase is magic. There's a lot of magic there, but no Spellfire. Okay, CoinWeb. CoinWeb, nope. CWeb. So, so that's quite strange. I'm just going to open one just to see if it actually did something or what, what's what's happening. So still, it says it's just company reserve available for sale. The progress is like not doing so up the partner is bull perks, but yet it didn't launch the token yet where it should have launched a long time ago. So that's something I do want to note, you know, uh, this series about the profitability. So that is what I will definitely focus on. However, we have had quite some projects that they say, oh, this is all projects, not just finished. Okay, my bad. But then, then again, here they are under finished and they're not finished because they're not live yet. So 
I don't assume that these are seed rounds or private sales or whatever. I would assume that they only do public IDOs. If it's private, sometimes it takes a long time for the coins to go live, but in this case, it looks like something is wrong. And maybe it's so look launch date. That's strange. Type VC. Oh well. Maybe we need to check the next one because I know Gaia definitely did launch. So maybe the type on the next one we should check. So Gaia Everworld was a good launch that I also did. Not on perks, but. I did do that launch and it has been uh, quite fruitful ever since. 3.6 at the moment, 8.75. I love it when people tell me like, ooh, 3.6, that's not good, mate. That's like 300% ROI. That's good any day in my book. We don't always want to be the moon boys, go for the 100x launches. This is fine. Chimeras, how did that do? Ooh, not too well. 0 0.73. And then what do we else we have? 4.99 all time high. Let's look at what this model was. Because is that also VC? Yeah, time VC. And then 6% 6, 6 TGE, then 10% linear. So that performed really shit. Uh, based on the vesting. Usually the low vesting would indicate that the project has not a lot of buying pressure in the beginning because not that many tokens are released. However, in this case, they couldn't apparently keep it up uh, to perform there. Okay, so the blockchain monster hunt. Is this the, for the NFTs or the actual tokens? No, these are for the NFTs. So we're going to skip this one. And then all it appears that we're looking at the last 10 projects. They didn't do that many. They didn't do that many, which is obviously concerning because we're now in October already. So it's two months and the IDOs right now are freaking hot, right? Titan hunters. Okay. So that one did really well. Okay. That's good. 17.56. And what else we have? What else we have? 1756498 vesting so again fc vesting 10% per month then a 3 month cliff 7.5% per month for 12 months okay so again hardcore vesting right and then the last launch is basically the next one which one is it going to be eartha eartha never heard of it sounds cool though hasn't launched, it appears. Bull perks. What's going on with your non-launched projects? Nope. Okay. Yarl. Yarl Yarlu. Funny name. And Yarlu did decent. Good enough. Depending on the fasting, I would say. Because two two point nine all time high with a fasting that's real shit. One point two six. That, that wouldn't be the best, obviously. All right, TGE for this project, Yarlu, will be 10% monthly, three month cliff, 9% per month for 10 months. Damn, these are some like private sales kind of vesting. Okay, so we can definitely see that the vesting has no direct correlation with the returns. And the vesting periods are rather long on bull perks, right? It's not something we usually take into consideration when we look at the profitability. So I'm not going to address my opinion based on the vesting, if it's profitable or not. But it's just something nice that they have. And I think it's only a pro that they're very transparent about the vesting. Great. Is this platform profitable? That's what we came to understand. That's what we came to find out. And the answer is yes, it is profitable in my opinion, or according to the data that is with an average Xing of 9.68%, which is almost a thousand percent ROI on average. Obviously, Sidus and Senate pulling up the average a lot. Titan Hunters also did really well. Chimeras didn't do that well. And this is only 10 projects of the entire list that Bullperks offers. So they have a lot more projects. 
some may have launched, some may have not, but um, they have done a lot of projects, right? So definitely, if you're interested in bull perks, check out all these projects, just do as I did in the video, do a thorough research, which I think is most important when making decision making, and just note that past indicators are no projection for future results, right? However, we do see patterns, and the pattern that I'm currently seeing is that the all-time highs were great, but with such vesting, it is very much unlikely you would be consistently able to sell at the all-time highs. And when I say not likely, almost impossible, right? However, decent ROIs all across. I mean, if you sometimes have a 1.5x project and then you have a 14x project, 42x project and a 3.6x project, I think those are quite uh, fluctuating, right? Yet, with an average of 9.6x, extremely worthwhile. So will i explore the bull perks platform if the price stays about this range with these type of allocations i might hop on with like a uh, just over a 10k investment and to see how these projects go because i have looked at bull perks before to be fair and i never really joined because i didn't think it was interesting um, based on the allocations but now you can even see the allocations here so 22 119 Oh, it goes from left to right, I think. 21, 51, 119, 289, 561. Okay, so th there's definitely bigger jumps than what I imagined. So it is like 22. I'm just going to adjust it for this one, just so I, ha I have all the data there. Oh, 51, that was not bad, the 50 there. That was not bad at all. 119, oh, we were close in the beginning. We were definitely close. 289 here, we were a little bit more off, and there I think we were the most off, 561. And this is about a thousand, right? Thousand twenty, yeah. So in in my opinion, yeah, to get a thousand dollar allocation with a hundred and forty four k investment, it does sound like a lot, yeah, and it and it is a lot. Don't get me wrong. However, what we generally see is that these um, higher allocation top tier units they're usually extremely expensive we're looking at half a million to a million dollars on most platforms here we're talking 100 250,000 tokens which is about 100k just under 100k still a lot of money right uh, out of reach for most people but also super high allocations now when we talk about 5,000 tokens three thousand dollars i think a 50 dollar investment is quite good when we can consistently get 10 x's those 50 dollars add up quite quickly if they have consistent launches so that is the one thing that does concern me with bull perks how many of these launches actually launch within a normal time and take into consideration that fasting which is usually quite long might not bring as big of, of an opportunity that being said obviously the the token is cheap right the allocations are relatively high compared to other platforms and the profitability is still there so you can't win on every aspect things have to be in balance is bull perks a profitable platform hell yeah am i going to explore it probably is it because of this video and research yes <laughs> that's basically everything i have for you today if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up Check out the playlist on the side of your screen where there's a lot more reviews on launch pads, just like bull perks, uh, where we basically look at the profitability of these launch pads and how they perform with their launches. To, so you can make the best choice uh, whether to see where you would like to invest, if you would like to invest at all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.